More people in the United States die from lung cancer each year than from breast, prostate, and colon cancer combined. 80 to 90 percent of those cancers can be attributed to smoking. Well, now there is a screening test being offered to those who are considered heavy smokers. Joining me to discuss the new test is Dr. Sadhu Gangadharan, Chief of Thoracic Surgery and Director of the Chest Disease Center at Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center. Right off the bat, I have to ask, why is lung cancer often so deadly? I think you can answer that question a couple different ways. One is most people, even now, that have lung cancer will be diagnosed at an advanced stage. It's really about 15% of patients that get a new diagnosis of lung cancer that will be diagnosed at an early stage and therefore a more treatable stage. I think the other part of that answer is that lung cancer, unlike other cancers, maybe prostate or thyroid cancer, tends to be a very fast growing and fast moving cancer. So it tends not to stay here, but to try to spread throughout the body. And that's one of the reasons why it is so deadly. So early detection is really key. Tell me about this exciting new screening. So the screening test that's out there is actually a test that's been available for many years. Uh, but in 2011, there was a landmark paper that was published, the National Lung Screening Trial, which was a huge trial. Tens and tens of thousands of patients were put on this trial to look at the efficacy of low-dose CT scanning uh, to detect lung cancer and hopefully improve mortality from lung cancer in high-risk patients, so patients that had smoked a long time. And the results of that trial conclusively showed that there was a 20% decrease in lung cancer-specific mortality. So that's the test that really, I think, can be a game changer when it comes to finding these cancers early and allowing treatment that's effective. And who is the best candidate for this screening? The patients that were enrolled in this study were patients that were in the 55 to 74 uh, year old age range. They were heavy smokers, so they smoked what we call 30 pack years, which means that on average they had to have smoked a pack a day for 30 years mm -hmm. or two packs a day for 15 years. And they had to have been either a current smoker or if they were an ex-smoker, they had to have quit less than 15 years prior. There has been some debate in public health circles about the cost of this screening. Talk about that. The cost, there's no doubt, will be expensive. I think some of the estimates I've seen are that for each Medicare recipient, it will be $3 a month extra. Uh, that would amount to billions of dollars per year. On the other hand, it's extremely expensive to treat patients that have advanced cancer. Um, Another way to look at that cost is in terms of how many tests would need to be done in order to save one life. And the number that are needed to be screened uh, from this study was about 320. If you compare that to other screening tests, such as mammography, um, that's about a third the number of tests that would be necessary uh, to detect and save one patient's life. And finally, what is your best advice for someone who is thinking about having this screening? How can they determine whether or not they are truly a good candidate and that they will have value here? I think the best person to talk to first is your primary care physician. The uh, primary care physician would be uh, aware of these, these trials and some of the screening programs that are out there. Unfortunately, at this time, many insurance companies and Medicare uh, do not pay for this. So you need to find a place that has a program that uh, does offer low-cost screening uh, for, this, uh, for this problem. At Beth Israel Deaconess in Needham, you were actually doing this screening. How much does that screening cost and who would be a good candidate? So we have been able to offer this test for a fraction of the actual cost of uh, screening, a screening CT scan and the cost is $285. Uh, the people that should get this are the same patients that were found to have benefited on the trial. So patients from 55 to 74 years of age uh, who have been heavy smokers greater than 30 pack years uh, and have not quit smoking uh, within the last 15 years. Okay. Money well spent. Absolutely. <laughs> Dr. Gangadaran, thank you so much for joining us. My Good pleasure. to have you with us. Thank you.